It seems that the governments and regulatory authorities across the globe are now waking up to the rising tide of artificial intelligence. European Union has introduced the AI Act. This is the first extensive AI regulation globally and it has already been approved. The EU AI Act is a risk-based approach meaning that it places stricter requirements on AI system that pose a higher risk to human health, safety and fundamental rights. I'll drop the link to the whole PDF document about this regulation and you can read it. But let me give you a quick overview of this pyramid of risks according to this regulation. So as you can see at the top we have prohibited AI. The EU AI Act prohibits the development, deployment and use of certain AI systems including social credit scoring systems, real-time biometric identification in public places, and also AI systems that exploit people's vulnerabilities such as age, disability, race, religion, etc. And then AI systems that manipulate people's behavior or circumvent their free will. So this is something which is related to, for example, manipulating the election results. It will be pivotal in any of the democratic systems out there. After that, we have high-risk AI systems. The high-risk AI systems are those that pose a significant risk to fundamental rights or safety. They include AI systems used in medical devices, vehicles, recruitment, HR and worker management, educational and vocational training. Then we have systems which are influencing elections and voters. And then we have access to services such as insurance, banking, credit and benefits. And then we have critical infrastructure management. Afterwards, we have something called as limited risk. Limited risk one are various systems which could range from systems which are implementing uh, things related to data or they are offering some sort of registering the financial information or medical information. And then there are a lot of other uh, systems which are not th that general purpose and then at the end of the spectrum we have general purpose AI. General purpose AI or GP AI systems are those that can be used for a wide range of tasks without the need for significant retraining. The EU AI act as distinct requirements for these general purpose systems including transparency, uh, for example, they should have technical documentation, training data, limitations, copyright and safeguards. Moreover, they should also have additional requirements for high impact models with systematic risks. So whoever is building the model should have a proper way or reason or some sort of framework to have model evaluation, risk assessment, adversarial testing and incident reporting. And then if you are using high risk AI, which I think this paper puts a lot of focus on, then you need to have a real system in place. Because if you are a provider and user, even the user of high risk AI system, then you must comply with several requirements. For example, you have to provide transparency, which I just mentioned, and then you need to ensure human oversight. This is huge. So first time in its regulation, any government or regulatory authority has said that in the high risk AI system, there must be an human oversight, for example, related to explainability, auditable logs, human in the loop. Because I'm already seeing that as the ad with the advent of AI agents, a lot of people are talking about taking the human out of the loop. But EU regulation bars that and I'm more than sure more and more world bodies are going to do the same. Now, if you don't comply with it, there are penalties and there is a way to enforce it. So the EU AI Act provides for significant penalties for violation, including up to 7% of global annual turnover or around 35 million euro for prohibited AI violations, up to 3% of global annual turnover or 15 million euros for most other violations. So even for the high risk, medium risk or any other sort of thing, still the penalty is huge. 15 million euros are huge. This is a huge amount. Maybe Google, Facebook 
Meta OpenAI can afford it, but if you are building an op uh, open model and still um, violating these, I think this could be the end of it. So that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts, your comments on this EUA regulation and what else you can see that happening um, around the world. If you are in, for example, I'm in Australia, I'm very keen to see what sort of regulation we come up in terms of AI. We do have something, but I think it would be good to get a more um, holistic and combined effort from industry and government to see a proper pure AI regulation. If you are in any other part of the world and if you already have something in making or if you something is already approved and I'm not aware of, please let me know in the comments. I'll be very grateful. Thanks for watching. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.